Hello, my friends. <laughs> Let's see if you go down here where it goes. Yes, guys, everybody ready? Here in Turkey, yes, everybody ready. What about the rest of the participants? Are you all ready? Can you hear me? Uh, yes, no. Yes? Okay, yeah. let's start with past simple tense. Okay, we will have a very short lesson about it and then we will write our story, each country, as we stated in the schedule, we will all do our parts. But before it, I want to start with past simple tense. It is use and also yeah. form of past simple tense. Okay, first of all, my dear students, we will start where we use past simple tense. Okay, we use it to talk about past actions, especially completed actions. For example, I washed my car yesterday and she ate pizza last night. Would you like to give me an example? in past simple tense, my dear students. Anybody wants to give an example? I, I went shopping. Yes. Shopping. Okay. Please. You have a car? No. Yeah, but you wash your car. Yes. Very good. Okay. Next. As you may know, we use some regular and irregular verbs in past simple tense. Uh, the easiest way, as I told you before, is to learn the irregular verbs. And you can say the rest of the verbs are regular and you need to add ed for the regular verbs. And we have some structures, you know, when the verb ends with y, we need to omit it and then add I, E, D to the end of the verb. Next one is types of sentences. You know, we have positive, in other words, affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and also question sentences. In affirmative sentences, we start the sentence with subject and later verb, but it must be in the past tense and you may add some time structures or also place, it's up to you. The example is Tom visited us last week. In the negative one, we use did with not. Tom didn't visit us last week. Later, we have yes, no questions and also WH questions for uh, questions in the past. We use did at the beginning of the sentence and later subject and verb but this time the verb should be in the base form okay we don't use ed or irregular verbs i mean the second type of the verb in past simple tense did tom visit you last week and as i said we have wh questions this time the sentence the question sentence starts with of the questions, yeah. verse and later, did and then subject and yeah. verb in base form. Yeah, plus the verb in the base form, plus the... Okay. Also, we have to be in past tense. We use to be. Its form changes. It becomes was and were. In negative sentences, we add not to was and also were, it becomes negative. Um, again, I need an example from one of my students. Umutan, would you please make a negative sentence with wasn't and weren't? Um, I wasn't up all night last night. I... Really? So where were you? Just where were you? Okay, thank you. And um, 
Chala, what about you? Where were you yesterday? Okay, thank you. Next part. We have yes, no questions with was were. Was Irene in the house or were they at the mall? And informative questions. Again, they start with WH words. Why was Irene in the house and where were you last night? And here are some examples. Would, would you please fill them with past simple tense? Okay, you have three minutes. I think it's enough for you. Yes, everybody, can you see the examples? Poland, Italy, Portugal, England, can you see the examples? Very good. Let's do it. If you feel them, all of them correctly, I will bring Baklava to Portugal, okay? For the sake of Baklava, do it, please. I went, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we said the first one we're going to say it's that, and some of you have already worked out the second one is what did you say? Exactly. exactly. And thank you very much, all of you, because you've got the right pronunciation there, which is is, yeah? Huh? Yeah, and take away why for which one? Okay, now now let's feel them. Let's feel them. So Who the wants one. to do the first one? Please. Yes, okay. yes, please. I went to the movie with Ed. Ed. Who is Ed? My friend. Really? Okay, thank you. The second one. The second one. Yes, Umut. Decide to read the story. Decide that. Yeah. Okay, with ED. Okay, thank you. Next one. Good. Third one is Emil. Or? Okay, Ezgi, Emil. <laughs> yes, go on. <laughs> okay, let me write Quiz. Do you like quizzes? No, okay, who lost them? Okay, go on. The fourth one. And they. They walked to school with ED. Thank you. Very good. Remember here the pronunciation is tough. Yeah, walked. Walk. Yeah. Really? Wow. Okay. What about the fifth one? I think we missed it. We skipped it. Play, the fifth right? one. <laughs> Sue. Okay. To play soccer. Yes, very good. Well done. Thank you. Okay. Do you mean Nardo? Do you mean? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hmm. Ah, there it is. Okay, good. That's fine. So that's where we are now. Okay, now we will give each country five words and we will try to make a story, make up a story using these words. Each time, every country will try to go on carry on the story after another country okay the first five words for turkish students 
Okay. Yes, Turkish students, can you see the words? Good. Squirrel, pink, rain, hide, and chair. These are your words, and you will make up a story with them. You have five minutes. Later, we will take it to the whiteboard. They will have five minutes to work on our story. We've got five tables to refine it. Yes. Each table will have one word, one part of the story. Yeah, okay. So if it was squirrel, you would be squirrel. I saw a squirrel on Saturday, yeah? Hang on, hold on, hold on. I don't know where the other country is from. So he's from Manchester. He killed it. Yeah. So they're going to tell us their story, yeah? He's going to probably type. We will type the story here on the whiteboard and later it will be Portuguese students turn. Portugal next, you put it down, yeah? Portugal. Guys, hurry up. Oh, I'm Thank <laughs> you. 